Golan is looking forward to staying in Charleston for a while. The Eastern Illinois women's basketball head coach spent most of last season going back and forth to Peru, but it was all to make a difference in the lives of three girls that are now a part of his family. WCI3's Brett Barons has that story. Life looks a whole lot different these days for Matt and Kari Bolant. And it's exactly where they feel called to be. The girls are keeping us young. Yes, oh my gosh. that's true. The 50-year-old Eastern Illinois women's basketball coach and his wife adopted three girls from Peru in January. 13-year-old Marita is the oldest. Meredi is 11 and Flor is the youngest. She's nine. The sisters are still learning English after living in an orphanage outside Trujillo for six years before the Bolans adopted them and answered prayer for all. We saw a picture of them and yeah, I really felt called to go get these three and instantly started crying and we knew that that's what the Lord had for us. Matt and Kari first thought about adopting 15 years ago. The ball got rolling in 2016 when they saw that picture of the girls. Matt was the head coach at Illinois then and little did they know it would be a five year process. So we kind of learned that God's timing is a little bit better than ours. After Bolant was let go with the Illini in March 2017, a decision had to be made. If they moved out of state, it would only further delay the adoption process. We felt really called to do it, so it didn't really matter what roadblock would come up. That's when Eastern Illinois called, and Bolant was up front from the start. When I interviewed, I said, hey, just to let you know, if I do get the job, you know, we're in the process of adopting. Sometime I'm going to have to go to Lima. The thing Bolant didn't know is that he would make that trip during the season and in the middle of a pandemic. Matt was back and forth to Peru from November to January, spending a total of five weeks in South America, but only missing four games. Kari spent three months with the girls before they could come to the U.S. The whole family finally arrived in Charleston, January 24th. Unbelievable, really. Yeah. We're so grateful, and they're teaching us so much. Um, so it's really a, a blessing both ways. It's a new chapter in the Bolan's 27 years of marriage. Their biological daughters, Abby and Reagan, are out of the house now, 10 years older than their new sisters, but Matt and Kari have a whole team surrounding them with love. Our players love our daughters. You know, it's one of the benefits of being a coach, and this year's team is, is as good as any that I've had as far as who they are. Medity, you're next. We see them quite a bit. They came to our team camp, so we got to spend time there, and then we go to coaches for dinner, and they're always there. Yeah. Getting to play with them and get to know them is really cool. Bolan admits it's not always easy. Being a Division I coach and dad of five doesn't leave him much free time, but he wouldn't have it any other way. I think anytime you help somebody else, you feel better. You know, just that purpose every day, a sense of joy you get in, in helping them, you know, I feel better in, in when I see them growing and doing better. Reporting in Charleston, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. All right, Brett, thank you so much for that incredible story. And even more incredible, I think, is that he only missed four games through the entire season, making those trips back and forth. But glad to see those girls have found a new home. Yeah, committed to both things. And during a pandemic, no less. Great story.